I'm in my workout gear. And that's because our week three challenge for Have It or Leave It is a physical challenge. So last week when we were getting up and standing up, I did a little research online to try to figure out what I could do while I couldn't be sitting. And one of the things I came across repeatedly was squat challenges. And I liked it. Why the squat? Well, because it is the most functional exercise that you can do. Think about it. How many times a day do we reach down to get something? Do we sit down, stand up, go to the bathroom? So I wanna make sure that I am strong enough that when I'm 70, 80 years old, I can still do those things on my own, especially the bathroom thing. So that's why the squat. Another great thing about the squat is that you can do it anywhere. I am in my small living room. You notice I'm taking up you know, this much space. I could be in my kitchen uh, while I'm waiting for something to cook, get a few squats in then. You can do it at work. At first you might get some weird looks, but I promise you that more people will applaud your efforts than will make fun of them. And you may even get some people to join in. So how many squats should we do? One number that stuck out online was 25. So let's just go with that. So to get started, let me show you how a squat is done. But we are going to start with the standard squat. How you do is stand with your feet parallel underneath your hips. I put my arms here, you can put them where you want. And with your weight in your heels, you bend down and come back up. How it looks from the side is, I've got my weight in my heels, wiggle my toes, standing up straight, and bend down. What you're looking for is a close to 90 degree angle with your legs. If you can't do it right away, don't worry about it. You'll work up to it. And then stand up straight so that you stretch your hip flexors and tighten your rear end. And here it goes again. Squat. And that's all there is to it. So to summarize our week three, have it or leave it challenge. We are going to see if doing 25 squats per day makes sitting down, standing back up, and doing other functional movements that require bending easier. Maybe 25 will be too little, maybe it'll be too much, but at the end of the week, we'll see if we're stronger and we'll determine, have it or leave it. So who's with me? Who's gonna do 25 squats a day? If you're in, type, what do I have to lose <laughs> in the comments? And remember, if you're starting a new exercise routine, you should always check with your doctor. Okay guys, happy squatting.